Today we're tackling a question that may seem like a contradiction. What is a cold or a cool plate for 3D printing, a machine that actually relies mainly on heat? I'm Brian DeLuca and this is Maker Build It, where we melt plastic with precision and sometimes lose the battle with supports. In 3D printing, a cold or a cool plate is a build plate that relies on very little heat in comparison to a normal build plate. It usually stays at room temperature or slightly above it with a little heat from the bed and relies on other tricks to help your material stick to the build plate. So why go to a cool plate? One of the main reasons is much lower power usage. Low heat equals low electricity. And if you're running a print farm, this is something you'd probably really want to take into consideration with your 3D printing. It's also safer for kids in the classroom as you're not dealing with a hot bed so they won't burn their fingers if they're removing the plate in say their technology class. And another reason is certain materials don't need a lot of heat such as PLA. They also cool faster speeding up the time for where a print could be released from the build plate. And if you're going that route you may want to consider a build plate that is designed for low temperatures such as the BQ Cryo Grip build plates. Frostbite is optimized for PLA and PETG. It has a rough texture for strong grip and works great at lower bed temperatures. Glacier, on the other hand, has a smoother surface and supports a wider range of materials, including ABS, PETG, PA, and PLA. It's compatible with nozzle temps up to 300 degrees Celsius. Both plates are built with a seven layer structure using magnetic spring steel and a polymer coating. They're also available for the Bamboo Labs X1, P1, A1, A1 Mini, and H2D. Very low heat, you're going to have to rely on something like these uh, cryo grip build plates or other materials such as glue sticks or hairspray in order for your materials to stick to your build plate. But if you're working with material that's warping like it wants to escape your bed, you're definitely going to need some heat. If you're working with PLA or other low warp filament and want fast low energy printing, a cold plate will probably work really well for you. And like I said, if you run a print form, this is going to actually help save a lot of energy costs depending on your materials. So there you have it. A cold plate isn't frozen. Uh, it is heated to a very low temperature around room temperature. And when used right, it could be a beginner friendly option that actually helps you save a lot of energy and time for your bed to get up to temperature. For more on 3D printing, DIY, and maker projects, make sure you like and follow Maker Build It. And remember, keep on making.